Hello everyone, welcome to our daily physics problem, day 7. So today, you support a pulley system. You support a pulley system with a string over connected with two masses, M1 and M2. Based on the force you feel, what is the equivalent mass of the system? Express the answer in terms of M1 and M2 and assume the pulley is massless and is frictionless. So why don't you pause the video, try on your own, and after you try, come back to the video and see how I did it. So welcome back. Today the problem we'll look at you know imagine you close your eye and holding this pulley. Then think of there's only one mass below you and there's only an MG below you and you want to know what is the mass, the equivalent mass. So let's just lay out all the forces here. We have two tension force and two gravity gravitational force. Tension force because it's one rope have to be the same. So, by figuring out the relationship between force and acceleration, F equals ma, we can know that the force acting on m1, the acceleration of m1, the acceleration of m2 can be expressed in these two terms. And because they are equal and opposite, as you see, they are connected by a single rope, uh, you can equivalent two of the expressions, and we have t minus m1g divided by m1 equal to negative t minus m2g divided by m2. Then we do some simplification of the equation and we can solve for t because t is our unknown. So let's move uh, cross multiply both sides and then uh, figure out how to deal with the minus sign. We switch the uh, minus. Mm. Then we will have m2 plus m1 times t equal to 2 m2 m1 times g. Then t will be equal to 2 times m1 m2 g divided by m2 plus m1. So that's our tension equation. So after we figure out the tension, we can know what is the force that we are feeling. So because when, our hand, uh, when you are holding this pulley system, the only force that you are feeling is come from the tension force, 2t tension force. The force you feel is equal to 2 times the tension force. So f will be equal to, let's plug in tension, is 2 times m2 times m1g divided by m2 plus m1, oh, that's a mistake, times 2. So that's the force you feel. And now let's figure out the equivalent mass, because the force you feel is mg. We are talking about, assuming there's only one equivalent mass on the bottom, will be the mb, be f you divide by g. Then we plug the uh, f back to the equation and all divide by g. What do we get? We get 4 times m2 times m1 divided by m2 plus m1 is equal to m. That's our final answer here. The equivalent mass.